This is Twit. This is the weirdest research paper. Microsoft Research published this paper, and it got picked up, and I saw started getting tweets about it and saw, you know, people covering it. The Guardian, uh, their headline was, Microsoft recommends against always using strong passwords. Or sometimes it was just, Microsoft, stop using strong passwords everywhere. <laughs> people were like, what? <laughs> what? And so... You know, I, I sort of assumed, actually, the title of the paper is really all you need to know. If you, if you really read the, the, the paper's title carefully, it tells you, and I didn't put it down in my notes, but I have it right here, and I'm sure I can grab it. Uh, uh, there it is. Um, so the, the, the Microsoft Research paper is titled Password Portfolios and the Finite Effort User, colon, Sustainably Managing Large Numbers of Accounts. And, you know, I mean, this is a heavy-duty academic paper. It's, uh, you know, 15 pages, and it is steeped in calculus and asymptotes and, and curves and things. And what it reduces to is nothing that we don't know, which is the absolute worst case that is that is the, the hardest for users is the joint recommendation that they never use the same password on more than one site and their passwords are really complex and impossible for anyone to guess, no matter how much anyone knows about them or their lives. So, you know, I mean, that's that's the collision of, of advice. And, of course, many things have happened. You know, I'm furiously working away on Squirrel as a solution, complete solution to this problem. Meanwhile, password managers have been created to manage this nightmare for us. So... Microsoft's paper assumes no existence of aid of any kind and just sort of assumes that, okay, in today's world, uh, is it really true that all passwords are equally valuable? And so what this multiple-page academic research does is it says no. Some sites are not that important. Your bank, yes. You really want to use a strong password there. Random, create a login so you can add a comment to a blog? No, that's not important. So there, the policy could be softened and you could probably get away with using your common, I just created an account so I could comment on a blog, password. Again, you know, they do calculus <laughs> to show us what we already pretty much knew was not all websites have equally strong value for our having robust authentication. So on those sites, we could soften our rules. On the other hand, when we do, in fact, have really good login autom uh, automation, as we do with LastPass and similar password managers, eh, might as well just use 20 random characters we're never going to be able to memorize because it's doing that for us. So anyway, that's what all that was in the news with Microsoft saying, eh, stop using hard passwords everywhere. And there's lots of calculus to back that up. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs>